I am to see the perfection within that which the world would call imperfect. That's that's fucking deep. I mean, I mean that's deep. <laughs> I, and I love it. Hello guys, this is Chiprian G at the present and precise moment of 9.07 on the 5th 01-2018 and uh, I'm now uh, documenting the step number 16 from the book Steps to Knowledge written by Marshall Van Summers for channel. Step number 16, beyond my mind is knowledge. So mind is the interference, like the resistance between ourselves, awareness and knowledge. That's interesting. It's uh, three, three practices of 15 minutes and uh, I originally started this on 31-12-2016. But as we'll see, it didn't go that well. So yeah, practice number one. I've started it at 6.05 p.m. So there have been a few years since I researched my place in the world, that which I want to do with my life. That's true. There has been different years where I've continuously looked on what I want to do to do with my life. I, I didn't like the idea of just working for a company and you know, I talk about this in different, in different steps, but yeah, I, I didn't want to be an average Joe, so to say. Not that it's bad, but hey, that's not just me. I don't want that with my life. It came in different waves and now that I know what and where to be now, I can see that my attitude, my gained skills, even my addictions brought me here so that I can put all of those to good use. It's true, I mean, the things I did with my life so far, they seemed like scattered all over the place, but now that I have like a clear and precise idea of what I want to do with my life. Every, every, everything that I gained so far, I mean, knowledge and, you know, things that I learned whenever I, wherever I worked, whatever I did, everything is now put to good use in this, which I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, and uh, here I continued on uh, 201 2018 so I skipped the first entirely because, yeah, <laughs> New Year's Eve and, you know, f these physical creatures like to party and hey, I'm in the physical plane, I've just joined them, so don't blame me on that. Okay, so uh, this is at 4.49 am, so you can see that I was awake at that hour and I was feeling pretty bad that I didn't do anything about the, the steps on the first day of the year, but I can understand why. And yeah, continuation of uh, step number 16, the bad luck, uh, luck in the sense of like not having circumstance which my earthly earthly physical senses are describing to me is a test for my initiation into the mature way of perceiving the causation of physical reality oh shit i can see that i was pretty i mean i can i can feel the um, i mean like a like a not bad vibe but yeah maybe like a bad vibe of vibe of hostility towards myself in this words kind of it's interesting but yeah what i'm saying here that you know there are some i mean my physical senses if i were to give them credit a lot of credit then i would see myself in like a really fucking bad circumstance not necessarily really bad but uh if I were to give attention to those, I mean, I would be fucking worrying a lot. But yeah, I think this is a test for me to be able to transcend the, what the physical senses are telling to me and create 
a new perspective for myself and you know use that perspective instead of the one that is given to me by the physical sense makes a fucking lot of sense to me i'll tell you that i am to come into contact with these situations circumstances of luck and do my best to see them with holy vision so i should see them as perfect as things I have created in my own life, although I could put the blame on circumstances and people and whatever. But yeah, I am to see the perfection within that which the world would call imperfect. That's, that's fucking deep. I mean, I mean, that's deep. <laughs> I, and I love it. I am to pass the test of the prodigal son that didn't condemn himself for that which he has loved. Oh my god, man, that's the... Ah, I, can, I understand perfectly what this guy is saying and he's so fucking... He's, he's doing well, I can tell you that. He's, he knows what he's doing and he's doing real well. The shift from third dimensional thinking to the fourth dimensional thinking has to be done by walking through what the world calls imperfection and see the perfection of it. So yeah, if I uh, am to give mom the causation of what happens on this plane to the fourth dimension, I mean, that's a whole different subject to discuss, but hey, maybe somebody will understand what I mean by that. I mean, to shift from this third dimensional thinking where I give causation to my physical senses, to shift to the fourth dimensional thinking when I, where I give causation to my imagining and feeling and attitudes and everything, I have to see the perfectness be behind that which this world is called imperfect. So, uh, I mean, this step was about beyond my mind is knowledge. And uh, I wrote some really meaningful things about it. For me, at least. I don't know how many of you can relate to that, but hey, that's some good fucking shit right there. So yeah, what can I say about step number 16? Well, to me it was a, a particularly meaningful step because I have came to this... I have written down in a clear way about this, uh, this thinking tr transition and this, this test I'm going to. The prodigal son test where he didn't condemn himself for that which he has allowed in his life. I hope that you can relate to some things in it and you know, if you'd like to see some more, hey, look for some other videos. And yeah, cheaper NG.